This video will focus on finding equivalent fractions. So first off, we're going to start off finding the equivalent fractions that are equal to um, one whole. Now equivalent means that um, the different fractions are equal to each other. Just like if we're balancing an equation and we say that um, three plus two equals five, that would be equal. We're gonna find fractions that are equal to each other. So here we have um, a bar model, which represents one whole. And so um, I'm going to work with some models here to try to find out what is equivalent to one whole. So I have one half here. And if I put one half, it's gonna be important to line it up on the end. And so you can see I have one half and I put the other one half up and I can see that that is equivalent. They start and stop at the end at the same spot. So I can say that one is equal to two halves because I have one half, two halves. So one is equal to two halves. So now I have my thirds. Once again, I wanna make sure it's lined up at the same spot. I don't wanna leave any gaps or anything. I want them touching. And then I can see that three thirds is also equal to one whole. So one is equal to three thirds. And three thirds is also equal to two halves. So now let's look at our force. All right, I'm gonna line them up. Don't wanna leave any gaps. And we can see that also one whole is equal to four fourths. Not only is one whole equal to four fourths, four fourths is also equal to three thirds and two halves. And then let's look at our six. All right. So you can see they started at the same spot. I'm adding these up. And then we can see too that one whole is equal to six six. So you can see that there are a lot of equivalent fractions here. All right, so let's move on over and let's look at what we can find that is equivalent to one half. So I'm going to start with my thirds. So remember what we said, we want to have it line up, start at the same spot. So one third, I can see it's not equal to a half yet because they're, it's not stopping at the same spot. So if I bring up another third, I can realize that, hey, two thirds, one third, nor two thirds is gonna be equal to one half. So I would not be able to write that as an equivalent fraction. Let's try our fourths. So I put my fourths up, I look here, and yes, I can see that one half is equal to one fourth, two fourths, two fourths. All right, let's try some six here. I've got one six, two six, and three six. So yes, I can say that one half is equal to three six. And also three six is equal to two fourths. Now let's try my eights. Starting at the same spot, no gaps between. And yes, I can see that one half is equal to four eighths. And finally, let's try our tenths. Let's see, one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, and five tenths. So yes, one half is equal to five tenths. So the only thing that wasn't equal to a half were my thirds, okay? They did not work out and that's okay. So what I'm gonna urge you to do now is I'm gonna urge you to go to the, um, to go to mathlearningcenter.com and it's an app that has some fractional pieces there. If you go to resources, uh, mathlearning.com um, and you can play around with some virtual manipulatives to try to find out what are some things that might be equal to one fourth? What are some things that might be equal to one six? Um, you can also continue to see if there are other things that you can find that are equivalent to one whole. Once again, this uh, video focuses on equivalent fractions with models, um, and I wish you the best of luck finding more equivalent fractions.